Hey, it's Ellen, and welcome to the Bare Bones Biz Easy. The video is a great opportunity for us to play together, to role play together. In fact, I suggest you use video at your shop, at your company. Practice how you're going to visit with a customer or an employee before you actually have the conversation, and you may find that that conversation goes a little smoother, a little easier, once you've had a chance to practice it. Now you don't have to practice every conversation, but the tougher ones, the more challenging ones, yeah, it doesn't help to do a little role play and to explore some different words, some scripts, some ways of communicating so that you can be more effective. All right, here is a tough situation that you may find yourself in now and then, and let me share some words and some ideas for how you can best communicate in this situation. Suppose you have an employee who is chronically late for work. Okay, you know you have to have the tough conversation, but how to do it? Well, let's play with that a little bit. First off, do you have written in your employee manual what your policy is about being on time? If you don't, I suggest you do this. Announce to your team that you have rectified a situation that has been troubling you. And that is that you've never made it clear what time people are supposed to arrive for work and what happens if they don't arrive on time. So you've updated your employee manual to indicate what happens if you should fail to comply with standard operating procedure. And we call this progressive discipline. The first uh, step in progressive discipline, say the first strike, is uh, a verbal warning. Now, a, a verbal warning is kind of an oxymoron because you're going to write down when you give people verbal warnings. Write it in their file or document it in their contact, but make sure you're keeping track. If someone, if an employee shows up late the first time they're late, you can give them a verbal warning or a rubber bullet. And the rubber bullet goes something like this. Okay, that's one. You're late today and I'm giving you a verbal warning that that's what's happening. That you're getting, you're, you're marching down the road of progressive discipline. Now, you can carry on and not be late anymore and this will be forgotten in six months. We can start over, your, your record is, is uh, wiped clean. No, right now, the next time that you show up late, I'm going to give you a written warning. Fair enough? Great. Okay, now you might get a little pushback from that. You might hear a little bit um, from the employee like this. Well, hey, I I'm like your best guy and I show up on time almost every day. And hey, wasn't I the one who stayed late the other day when you needed some help? I can't believe you're giving me a hard time for showing up late. You might get that. And my advice to you is, Take it like a duck. Listen, you want to play a really big game at your company and you don't want to get stuck in these kind of uh, uh, conversations that are bound to get escalated and heated and forget about it. So try this. I understand that. In this instance, I have promised that I'm going to catch your attention when you break procedure. And you did. So that's why we give you a rubber bullet. If it only happens once, no big deal. You can stop talking at that point. Now let's suppose the same employee shows up late two days later. Pull them into your office. By the way, all these conversations, whenever you criticize someone's behavior or hold them accountable for compliance, these are private conversations, never to be carried out in front of other people. Fair enough? Okay, so let's say this employee shows up late and um, you see that and you pull them into your office. And the conversation may go something like this. As promised, I'm going to write you up for being late, and I want you to know that according to the progressive discipline in our employee manual, this means the next time you're late, I will send you home. You'll be suspended, and beyond that, your employment here is at risk. I will terminate your employment on the first, on the fourth um, strike. So this is serious. I want you to know that I will not tolerate people being late in your position at this company. Fair enough? And you put a little form together and you have them sign it and you sign it. The form can just be, I acknowledge I had this conversation, I was late. Fair enough, now you might get some pushback and the same thing. Don't take it personally and don't get too deep in the conversation. It could go something like this. I can't believe you're writing me up. I mean, you know what's going on in my life. My wife has given me grief. I, you know, I had trouble with the kids. I'm trying to get it to work and then I hit the traffic jam, blah, 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 blah. And you might say, I get that, I get that life happens, but here's the thing, on my watch, I'm going to hold you to your very best behavior. 
and it does your personal life no good whatsoever for you to lose your job. And I tell you, at this company, I want to play a really big game here, and I do not like wasting time on housekeeping items. So, this is your written warning. I'm going to send you home the next time you're late. Agreed? Are you, are you clear on this communication? Don't let your team members escalate downward if things are going on in their life that are causing them, or apparently causing them, to um, perform at less than stellar levels while they're working for you. The best thing you can do for people on your watch is to hold them to their very highest performance. Hope that helps. Let me know how you do. Send me an email at contact at barebonesbiz.com. Contact at barebonesbiz.com. I got excited. Keep us posted of your successes and your challenges. And be sure to step, uh, check out Step by Step, that link below. We have a rockin' great program that helps you develop success habits one step at a time. You should check it out. It's a dollar to try. I think you're going to like it. I wish you love, peace, lots of money, and freedom.